I've done something that I could not even have imagined just two or three weeks ago, and that is purchase a pistol in 380 ACP. This is the Bursa Thunder 380 Plus. Let's confirm that it is empty. Magazine out. Safety off. Okay, nothing's in there. Now you gotta put the magazine back in. Fire. There we go. Okay. Reason why I never considered a 380 is that uh, my 9mm that I carry every day, EDC, is what I feel like the ground floor for self-defense. Now, as I use this for ammo testing, and that is the primary reason why I purchased this, because uh, close to half of my requests for ammo testing are in 380. So I've caved in and bought this. Uh, I don't ever plan to carry it, although I think it would serve as a uh, pretty decent firearm. This is a little bit unusual in a 380, and 380s, by the way, are becoming increasingly popular, I guess because of their low recoil. Uh, cost of ammo may be a little less than some other calibers, and just the size of the gun. This is a little bit larger than the majority of 380s that are being pushed right now that are typically a five, uh, say, six or seven shot magazine. This is a double stack. It's a 15 shot magazine. Size of the gun is 20 ounces, three and a half inch barrel, 6.6 .6 inches in length, 4.9 inches in height, and it's about 1.35 in width. It's just a little bit wider than my Glock 19. There is that. That is empty. Just to give you a perspective, it is uh, smaller as far as length than the Glock 19, but the other dimensions are about the same. So it's going to be larger than a Glock 26 and similar sizes. But again, the primary purpose is for ammo testing. You'll see it pop up in some uh, other videos. And um, a lot of folks feel like this looks like a Walther PPK. So I kind of like the cool look of that. So let's put this down, get some of these uh, other things out of the way, and I'll show you how the action works on this. And stick around. We are going to take some practice shots with it outside in just a moment. This is an alloy frame. Again, it's lightweight, 20 ounces empty. An extended slide release, manual safety. You'll see the firing pin block move out of the way or the effects of that with the hammer moving forward. Here's your double action trigger pull, followed by your single action pull. I really like the grips on this. I would say this is a hard rubber. It gives a nice gripping surface. It's not really slick in any way. Wrap around on the front. And the sights, these are not night sights. I don't have any interest in adding night sights to this gun. But a nice sight picture. And again, three and a half inch barrel. This is made in Argentina, by the way, imported through RSA in New Jersey. They offer a one year warranty on the gun and also a lifetime service agreement. So if you're the original purchaser of the gun, if you have any issues with it, you can send it in for repairs and I would do that through my FFL price range. This is in the $350 to $370 uh, US. I didn't want to spend six, seven, eight hundred dollars on a Beretta, a car, or something else in a 380 for the purposes I have, which again are primarily ammo testing and giving you some videos. If you've ever wondered about the size difference between the 380 and say 9mm, there's a 380 94 grain full metal jacket on the left, 124 grain 9mm full metal jacket on the right. We're going to be using these 380s, 94 grains, for a quick rain session, and we're headed there right now. Aiming through the camera. Oh, come on. That's amazing. Kind of gives you an idea the power factor of the 94 grain 380. Here are the 94 grain 380s, full metal jacket. After they hit that 500 Brunel steel, they splatter and drop near the target. That's a good thing. No hiccups today shooting full metal jacket, but that was a brief range session. I do seem to be shooting low, so I need to determine my point of aim with the Bursa Thunder 380 Plus. More videos coming in 380. Thanks for watching.